Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead Season 2. So, wir haben jetzt hier in der letzten Stunde, sind wir hier jetzt, in der letzten Stunde, Junge, in der letzten Folge sind wir angekommen, hier in dem verkackt wunderschönen Skihütte sind wir hier angekommen und jetzt sollen wir was für die Weihnachtsbaumspitze besorgen. Ähm, ja, woher soll ich da jetzt was hernehmen? Ich glaube, wir gehen mal nach oben, da waren wir ja noch nicht. Da wird bestimmt irgendwas sein, weil hier stehen ja sonst keine Kartons, außer die und die können wir nicht... Nee, da können wir nicht mit interagieren. Dann gehen wir mal nach oben. Da oben steht auch Carlos rum. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Frag mich, in welcher Woche die gerade ist. Ähm. Jetzt muss ich das hier nochmal gucken. Dieser, dieser Kabel, ne? Der. Ist jetzt die, die, oh, wie heißt die Kleine? Sarah? Ist die Sarah die Tochter von dem? Wirklich? Nee, die sieht doch eher aus wie die Tochter von Carlos. Na also. Was will die? Hat die jetzt gesagt Stern oder Engel? Ja, da kriegt natürlich einen Engel. Äh, setze auf Weihnachtsbaum, natürlich. Es fällt zu tausend Prozent darunter. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. When is Matthew coming back? He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. <laughs> Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Wir können mal nach oben gehen. Ich habe ja mit ihr noch nicht gesprochen. Wir wollen ja immer mit ihm sprechen. Wir sind doch nette Menschen. Oh, dann... Rebecca? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. <laughs> If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I 
can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. And stuff, and a große dicke Pflaume. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Ja, vielleicht ist es, vielleicht hat sie Glück und es ist wirklich von ihm. So, jetzt gibt's den Hülsenfruchtsalat. Ja, okay, man. Yeah, just. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Heute gehe ich mal zu Lou Kenny. Here you go, Clem. So Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice too, till they bite your damn arm off. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Würde schon sagen, ja. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I'm tired of running. Of course you are. You don't have to run no more, darling. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends. That's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. Cold ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. Have you just found the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, Duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Da ist er wieder. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? 
Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. Ich möchte, dass alle zusammenbleiben. But I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Maybe, and maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey kids, what are you two talking about? Hauptsache die Knarre in der Hand. Politics? The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Bonnie! Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Haben Sie wirklich so viel reichliches Zeug haben? Ich habe die Vorräte noch nicht gesehen. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. <laughs> Freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, fuck. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. 
and I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. <laughs>